Shalom with you today, Pastor Daniel Rosen from the heart of Jerusalem, Living Stone Congregation. The message is for today, the Yom Kippur. Remember, we are in very significant time. I, I be called this, it's a really a unique time for restoration and restart and reset everything in your personal life. Amen. We declare that the Savior and Redeemer Jesus Christ is our Lord savior and redeemer the king of kings the lord of lords wonderful counselor the everlasting abba father the prince of peace the alpha and omega beginning and the end the lord who is and who was and who is come the almighty and we must what prepare ourselves and be get ready amen yom kippur Day of Atonement is the only day the priests will enter to the Holy of Holies to receive the forgiveness for the sin of Israel. Jesus, the Messiah, Yeshua, Christ, Savior, shed his blood on the cross to pay for our sin so we can boldly enter to God's presence. Today is the Yom Kippur, as the Jewish all around Israel and all around the world, the celebrate involved 26 hours period of fasting in intense prayer. It serves as your last appeal, your final opportunity to seek God's favor, demonstrate your repentance and reconcile with the God Almighty. We see in the book of Leviticus chapter 16, very clear say, God was very specific as to how and when this need to be done. He say in Ar to Aaron, high priest, that only during this time of the year, he was able to come inside the well of the Holy of Holies, in the temple before the mercy seed at wise will we die that's meaning you must to prepare your heart your spirit your soul to enter to the holy of holies and you're not ready people died remember in the bible say they was put the chain with the sound and they see it is not moved they removed the dead bodies it was scary to enter in these days specific in yom kippur in the day of atonement where the high priest only enter to the holy of holies he need the blood of a young bull a sin offering for himself and his house the bull blood was a sprinkle on the dark of the covenant he had to wash his body holy water and wear the holy white linen garments he had to make, take two goat from the congregation one was chosen for the lord as a sin offering and his blood was sprinkled on the ark of the covenant for the forgiveness of israel sin the other goat was thick as a really scapper goat we see today yeshua messiah jesus christ is the most high priest he shed his blood so he could present himself as the living sacrifice for the father for the forgiveness of all people's sin the sufficiency and completeness of messiah christ sacrifice can be easy see in the two goats the purpose of the blood of the first goat that was sprinkled of the ark was appearing for the wrath of God for another year. The second goat removed the sin of the people and the wilderness where they were forgotten and no longer stuck to the people. Sin is both appropriation as an expire God's way only by sacrifice of Messiah's Christ on the cross. We see the second goat 
appropriation, the mean calming, God's anger. An exp expression is the act of atoning for sin and removing it from the sinner. Both together are achieved eternally by the blood of Jesus Christ when he sacrificed himself on the cross. He appeased God's wrath against sin, taking wrath upon himself, take all upon himself. Take all the heaviness and pain and your disappointed discouragement, your hardship, your problems, your, your, your loneliness. He take all on himself and carry on Via Dolorosa to Golgotha. We see in Romans chapter 5, 9 says, We have now been justified by his blood. Now much more shall be saved from God's struggles wrought through him. In Psalm 103, verse 12, says, The act of second goat removing sin was like the real life story illustrating God's promise. God say he will take our sin away and forgot, forget them completely, just like now, and how the East is always far from the West. We see Yeshua Jesus has made a way for us, so we can come pure and humbly believing in Him, repenting and allowing His precious blood to cleanse us. Make, it, uh, make us completely new. He dressed us in white, fine linen garments to enter boldly into the presence of God. Not just once in the year in Yom Kippur and then of a day of atonement, but any time through the year. No bull of goat sacrifice the veil of the temple has been torn from top to the bottom so we can enter boldly presence of God. It's the time to enter to His presence through the blood of Yeshua, Jesus the Messiah King. Receive the forgiveness of your sin once and for all and be saved he is really waiting for you. It's all because of His blood. Believe Yeshua Jesus. He's the Son of the living God who died on the cross for our sin. He was buried, hallelujah, and resurrected on the third day according to the Scripture so we can have eternal life with Him. The moment you believe in Him and that He died for your sin, you save, justify, sealed unto the day of redemption and rapture ready. The Holy Spirit will come to live inside of you. He will help you, guide you, change you and be with you forever. Oh, in John chapter 3, 6, the God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that would ever believe in Him who shall not perish but have everlasting life. Wow. Can we pray right now in this moment? It is Yom Kippur and the fasting day. Heavenly Father, clean and purify us. Really, Change everything we need to be changed. Heal everything we need to be healed. We only open our hearts and our mind to receive you for transformation and healing miracle power. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Yes, and Amen.